for PR uh, just started high school. Just started high school. Just started high school. All right, is, is that a pit? Um, I think so. I told you he's been dabbing into a lot of characters. One thing about Yugi, he plays a lot of characters, but he never plays no top All right, teams. so uh, the cameras are backwards. All right. It is definitely Harlock playing Sheik, but they uh, they didn't listen to me. <laughs> well, I guess we could change the names around if we had to. Oh, okay, so I, I did switch the names. There we go. All right, or, or not, okay. Uh, let's, uh, let's. All right, and uh, uh, Harlock going for the bread and butter. All right. So Harlock the Sheik, per usual. Yep. Yugi X, the the Dark Pit, Dark Pit. Okay. Yeah, which, you know, I can kind of understand why he chose Dark Pit, because Dark Pit kind of has some silly, good, you know, you know, bread and butter combos, and he also has a side B that kills kind of early. But against Sheik, I mean, it's just what can you really do? Yeah. Sheik's still really good. Sheik is still, you know, I, that's one thing. Like when when uh, when Zero. Oh, okay. Ooh, okay, <laughs> that was nice. When Zero, you know, stopped playing Sheik and started playing Diddy full-time, I feel like he just gave up. I feel like he didn't want to adapt to the meta. Yeah. Well, when I was just like, okay, well, but Sheik's still dominating. I mean, you still got Void. Void. You still have Void, K9. Um, who's the other one? Uh, uh, Mr. R? Mr. R? Yeah, oh, yeah. All, all Mi them were Mr. Dominating. Second Place. <laughs> Basically, yeah, Mr. Second Place. Like, one, like, Sheik is still, honestly, arguably number one. Yeah. I, I mean, mean, the... the uh, Smash 4 backroom will disagree with you right they, now. Yeah, they, they disagree, but, I, I mean, if we look at consistency standpoint, if you look at all the Sheik players, they're just going to be, you know, in a row. Oh, all right, here we go. All right, so... Here we go, and we got needle camping. It's really not much Pit can do, and that's gonna be end of game one. Uh, took 66%, so that's 33% in stock. Hey, can y'all switch? Yeah, can you be player two? Yeah. Oh, Bakuda's gonna be the reason I don't get home tonight. I understand. Yeah, every time I look at him, he's just sitting there staring at me like an idiot. His match has been ready for like five minutes. All right, here we go. All right, we got Yugi X versus Harlock for game two. You know what? You know, I have a feeling. I have a feeling that they're either gonna go back to Smashville or they're gonna go to Battlefield. Now, I'm actually really, really happy to see Captain Falcon coming out of Yu Gi X. I agree, because this yeah. Falcon is so much better than all of his other characters. Yeah. It's, well, it's, it's, way, it's, it's more polished than yeah. all the other characters. I remember I went well, to one, I can't remember which tournament it was. I think it was like one of the early Halcyons before they were Halcyon, yeah. back when they were like Gigabytes. Yeah. And Yu Gi X did really well. I was like, all right, Yu Gi X. Yeah. I see you. That's one thing I don't understand. Yeah. You know what? See, see this, is why, this is why I went back to this is a case of PYM. Play your main? Play your main. Play your main. You just got to play yeah. your main. Like, so many people are caught up in, like, all right, Anti is, uh, like, the counter picker. He, yeah, he's a yeah. counter picker, but you know what? He has strong fundamentals and he plays top tiers. He doesn't, yeah. you can't, you can't counter pick low tier characters. Oh, you yeah. can't do it. Yeah. I mean, you can do it, I guess, if you're the buzz, but you, that means he's already playing Rosalina. Yeah. You know, that's that's about it, though, but, and then that's, that throws in the argument of where on the tier list does Olimar belong. <laughs> yeah. I but mean, uh, we have. A, a solid Olimar in yeah, middle Georgia. Exactly. Yeah, I keep yelling at him, but I mean, he's, yeah, he's exactly. a good guy. He's funny. Yeah, he's not used to the big, bigger tournaments. Yeah, it's fine though. He'll get used to it. All right, so but let's talk about this. You know, this is a this is definitely um, definitely a lot better for Yugi. Um, seeing what he did, he only did 66% last game the entire time they were playing. Now he's up 99%, which even or like something like a Raptor boost could kill at this point. Oh yeah. But uh, but I think it, I think he should just start off with Falcon, in my I, opinion. I agree. Because th then he would have got the information that he needed to win game two, or just to take game one altogether. Yeah. Well, that being said, this is widely regarded as an abysmal matchup. Nice tech. Definitely good tech. All right, and you got to be careful because Sheik has a lot of things that can just kind of stray hit Captain Falcon. Or that. Or yeah. Yeah. Just that's just the bread and butter Sheik tech. Yeah. The problem is, is that she's got a frame three kill confirm. <laughs> It's a little scary. You know, frame three kill confirm, but still struggles to kill. Yeah, <laughs> I yeah, exactly. So one thing about Harlock is um uh, he really never overextends. No, he's he, so safe. He's he's yeah. he's he's possibly one of the safest players that I know. He used to not be like that, 
Um, he realized that that was a Sheik meta. Oh, oh, and that was quick change of events because he has no jump. Oh, oh, but he makes it back he anyway. Still makes it back. I see. Okay, that's diff that's really respectable. Taking the stock, only 47% damage. That's that's pretty healthy. Especially for Captain Falcon. Yeah, especially yeah. for Falcon. I mean, if this were fatality, yeah, I mean, exactly. this could be game over by yeah, now. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So well, let's see what Yugi X, you know, has in store. He he kind of picked Battlefield for a reason. So I'm pretty sure he wants to use the battle, the uh, the platforms for, to his advantage. But uh, Harlock's just complete playing patient. He just yeah. he's just keeping those needles up. Just keeping yeah. the needles. Yeah, best, I mean, I guess that's projectile. the sheep. Yeah, that's huh. the sheep meta, I guess. I mean, going for the dares. Um, I don't think it would kill at this point. Yep. Shield grab. All right, I think at this point, um, Harlock's just kind of like, all right, I'm just going to keep throwing stuff out because I feel like I'm going to win this no matter what I do. I mean, you say that, but this is still Captain Falcon. Yeah, exactly. You have to be you careful. To be careful. Yeah. I mean, he, he needs to play safe. Yeah, because Harlock you know. went off stage, and Falcon's stomp is no joke. Yeah, Falcon yeah. stomp will just send you all the way to the depths. Oh, okay. He's practicing that uh, the, the uh, stage spike from Needles. Okay. Respectable. Okay. A little bit of disrespect. Yeah, though, definitely you know. disrespect. <laughs> And another shield grab. You know, that's the third time that sh um, Harlock has shield grabbed him from him just running off into the middle of the uh, the uh, stage from the map platform. All right, and what's he gonna do right here? All right. Oh. oh. Okay. Understand. A lot of people, a lot of people drop shield after that third hit because they just think they're gonna um, start the combo. And Harlock still kind of playing patient. And Yuki's just fishing. He's just trying to like, I'm just trying to do whatever I can to get as much damage and get this knee. Now, if you guys want to go back and watch any of the other videos from today at the NACO Monthly, oh, you yeah. saw Harlock get bodied by some super hard reads by Salt One and then Ray. So, Ooh, oh, and that's oh. what we were talking about. Yeah. The huge <laughs> comeback factor. With that, I think, you know what, I think he had all that planned out in his head. Yeah. He said, you know what, I'm going to make him think that he's winning, and then at the very last second, I'm going to spike him. Yeah, like, like I said earlier, it's like you can't mess around can't. with Falcon. You really can't. You just have to play safe. Ho yeah. Hopefully he'll mess up, and then and then you got to kill him. All right, here we go, FD. Um, I feel like this is very neutral for both, um, both characters. I don't think either one of them have a severe advantage on this stage. Um, I, th I definitely think Harlock's gonna play a little safer, try to take no damage. Yeah, and you but know, I think knock you, off the ledge. yeah, but I think I think that might hurt him playing too safe, because I think in this matchup you should just abuse the fact that you know that you can juggle Falcon. Or uh, you're the better character. Yeah, exactly. You know that uh, that's, little, that's why I, I, I try to explain to a lot of people, if you're playing a better character, and even though the other person is might be better than you, exploit the character's weaknesses. Show them why it's a bad character. Yeah, you can't be afraid. Yeah, I can't. Show don't them why it's a bad character. Don't let the name get in your head. Exactly. Yeah, because we saw Harlock do very well against Fatality earlier. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, it, he was playing Mario, and, you know, I think he let the name get in, in his head. Okay. Okay. Nice respectful oh. damage. He's going too low. Only taking 14 percent for the first stock. Yugi's got a lot of work to do, but I don't know <laughs> what, what kind of meta this is. Well, I, I mean, I do like the fact that Yugi X took a second, get, he did. get yeah. his composure you, back. Yeah, you want you definitely yeah. want to do that after not you know not you know after dying or SDing. Yeah. Or if you're trying to time somebody else, it's definitely a good way to regroup. Well, I, I doubt that's what we're going for here. No, CC's I, not playing. Yeah, CC's definitely not playing. <laughs> don't worry about it. That's fine. That's views, man. Oh, a little too early. All right. And this is just the bread and butter sheet, so this is what I was talking about. Yeah, and this time Harlock does have a stock to play with, so he yep. can be a little bit disrespectful. Exactly. So Yugi just still fishing. He's just trying to get whatever he can get going. That's all, you know, he's just trying to get the up air, knee, back airs, just see whatever he can get. And I already know Harlock's just gonna sit back, charge needles, wait till he gets a forward tilt, and then the fair. All right. I think that's how he lost his last off. Well, his last game was bouncing fishing off stage. Probably. Yep. That's yeah. exactly how he lost last game. All right, here we go. All right, so Captain Falcon with the stage advantage. I don't agree with you know going off stage like that. Oh, missed the punish. 
Sheik was super free going on stage. Oh, is this it? Is this gonna be it? I think. I think it might be. Oh no, oh. miss input for needles. I think that would have confirmed into bouncing fish. Probably. Yeah. And. Oh, oh we it's not it. it. Yeah. Right. Di of a god. But That'd that's be it. it. Yeah. yeah. I think. I think what happened there is he gave up, and then he didn't give himself any recovery options. Yeah. But.